act. She says your basement stink. Like, bro, like, you know I don't have to respond to her? Yo, bitch, you getting like $200,000 to go work at the breakfast club, bitch, because you fucking need it, shorty. You get what I'm saying, my nigga? Like, bro, I just bought a whole Maybach that's getting delivered. Like, it should have got delivered today. Tomorrow, my nigga, like, we're not even the same league, my nigga. Like, whatever y'all got going up here, like, this another reason, man. Like, nigga, I done made all these millions I done made and everything I done did and cr basically created another part of this media industry for the other niggas to come ahead. Man, no nigga could ever be my daddy, so fuck one out of here. Also, Shorty can be, like, this whole little basement shit gets, it actually gets old. When you realize my house is a two, this is, this is over $2 million house. Like, bro, I could sit here and flame you up, but at this point, I'm gonna just look pompous. Okay, a $2 million house. You, you, come on, man. You ain't gonna say the same about Cost and that. That nigga making 30 million a year. You ain't saying that about him. Bitch, you're on the Breakfast Club as Angelique replacement. We don't gotta talk about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? We don't got to talk about nothing. You feel me? Like, I promise you, we could put it up on anything. I'm getting paid for more from Rumble than you getting paid for being at the Breakfast Club every day. You got to drive there. I don't even know where you live at. You look like some country bitch. You got to get up there. I'll wake up. I could wear the same shirt every day. I'm still going to get the money. I'm sorry. I don't care what y'all got going on. All this, like, smelly basement talk. And also, let's keep it a bean. Like, I got a whole headquarters. I guarantee I pay more for rent than you probably make a month. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? The reason why I can't even, like, somebody like Jess Hilarious and even, like, you know, with all, even all due respect to everybody up there. Bro, this is the era of independent media, man. Like, y'all niggas is working for Clear Channel, man. I can't even control what, what, what really goes on with the content up there. Nigga, the niggas who really doing their thing out here is independent media, baby. And I'm just glad to be one of the spearheaded and at the forefront of, uh, of that. So when I hear somebody who work walking into an office, like, bitch, you gotta go across the bridge every time you try to you try to work. You're like, come on, man, like, yo, pipe down. You feel me? Like, man, I'm about to open up a I'm about to open up another facility in Miami, my nigga, as as a headquarters, another one for me. Like, brother, like you can't like we talking about people who actually gotta run companies, my nigga. You get on there, you're not funny, and you're getting paid peanuts. Like, bro, me and you not in the same league. So you talking about a basement, like, bro, I could embarrass you. I could embarrass the shit out of you, bro. Like, bitches like you, y'all got to run around from comedy stage to comedy stage. How the fuck a nigga in his basement got more money than you? Stop playing with me, my nigga. Like, I could shit on you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I could shit on you. Like, that's just a reality. I'm, I'm, I'm talking facts. So I don't really got to respond to no bitch like that. Yo, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all over there. The lane that I'm in, I'm very happy in that lane. And I've been doing really good in that lane. And you know what I mean? I just want to uh, I just wanna say, like, I embrace my role in my lane. And this is why I, I'm, I'm glad that I don't got no issues.